Hi Pisces, my name is Amber from Mystic Eyes the Journey and I am back with another channel message. So this message is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and really anybody that wants to check in with or tap into Pisces energy today. So as usual, I have my tarot and I have an oracle deck. We're working with the energy oracle cards and the golden wheel tarot today. And before we get into the actual reading, right before I stepped into your energy, immediately my lower back, my lumbar spine just kind of started to, ugh. and I feel this discomfort, um, in my lower back. So that may be a confirmation for whoever is checking into this reading at this time. But, uh, for me, when I have discomfort in my lower back, it is a clue. Body is telling me that there is a lack of support in my life at that time. Maybe it's a real lack. Maybe it's a perceived lack, an emotional lack, a physical lack. I don't know. That's for me to go deeper into myself and figure out what it is. My body is just telling me there's a lack of support. And that's what I'm getting here before we even step into the energy. So we'll see what that means. And um, we'll go into tarot. What does the Pisces Collective need to know at this time? What does Pisces need to know in order to successfully navigate the energy that they are in at this time? Messages for Pisces. Whoa. Okay. Dang. Okay. 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 So the ones that immediately want to be shown here are the Ten of Swords and the High Priestess. Okay. The Ten of Swords is about a really difficult ending, but an ending nonetheless. This is light or uh, darkness before the dawn. Okay. The worst is over. Right now, you're about to step into a new beginning. Right? This high priestess tells us that we need to trust the divine. We need to trust ourselves. We need to trust our bodies and our emotions. Right? I'm seeing the new moon here, which is, again, about a new beginning. Trust your inner wisdom and trust the timing, most importantly. There's something to do with timing here. Let me just grab this card off the Lore. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I wish I said it. I wish I said it, but I didn't. We have the Ace of Swords, right? After the Ten of Swords is the Ace of Swords. This is the new beginning, right? This is a new way of being. I'm getting. This is a new way of being. With this snake energy, there's a major transformation on the horizon. Okay, let me see if I can focus this so you could see. Yeah, there we go. I did a reading on the snake spirit, so there may be some messages for you in that reading, but the snake is all about shedding the skin and stepping into something new, a new energy. I feel like something has been plaguing you, Pisces. It could have to do with support or the way you perceive support, lack of support, not asking for support when you need it. I don't know. Place it as it resonates. But you're about to step into a totally new way of thinking. Now, I know when we get new beginnings, we always want that Ace of Cups, right? We want new love, we want uh, Ace of Pentacles, let's get some money, right? But this, the Ace of Swords, a new way of thinking, a new way of being is the most abundant new beginning that you can have. I'm hearing the phrase, teach, give a man a fish, he eats for a day. Give a man or teach a man to fish and he eats for the rest of his life. That's this energy here. With this new way of being, with this new trust in self, trust in the divine, trust in the support that's around you, you're going to be able to manifest so many different things in your life. Seven of Wands. Now, this is a really interesting depiction of the Seven of Wands. Usually, when we see Seven of Wands energy, it's somebody who's fighting, right? This man is not fighting. He's in his Six of Wands energy, okay? He's standing victorious. And look, spirit is fighting. 
Now, I feel like when I say spirit, I'm talking about ancestor energy. I'm talking about power animals. I'm talking about physical stuff, 3D energy. That's why this energy showed itself to me in my physical body. Okay, you have earth energies that are able and willing to fight battles for you on your behalf. All you need to do, Pisces, is stand in your power. Okay, can I get this uh, to focus? <laughs> All you have to do is stand in your power and trust. Trust. Trust that what's yours is yours, the death card. Yeah, this is a major transformation. This is a major internal transformation. I'm getting that um, where I live, we're about to step into the springtime. So you may be in a different area of the world, but where I'm at, we're coming out of the winter into the spring. And I feel like whoever I'm reading for this past season, you have been doing so much work. So much energy work with this high priestess. So much light work, so much shadow work, all of it, right? Because the queen, or I'm sorry, the, um, the high priestess is balanced in both, right? That's why I feel like you, you already know that you have the divine, the support of the divine. But do you know that you have the protection of the earth? Do you know that? That's the way they're presenting it to me, like, do you know that? Do you know that the time that you spent in the darkness was so that you could make friends, so that you could be supported on all areas of the human experience, right? Because we are spirit having a human experience in this lifetime, right? It's not just about love and light. We also need to acknowledge the earth energies, the mother earth energies, and the mother, the yin realm is dark, okay? And this idea of these wolves having your back. They have your back. You don't even need to do anything. Oh my gosh. Okay. We have the Hierophant in the reverse. Okay. I'm picking up here with this Hierophant. Is something unconventional. Right? Your thinking is unconventional. Your being is unconventional. You are this high priestess. This is your energy, Pisces. Right? This is a moon card. This is a water card. This is your energy. You're not like everybody else. And because you're not like everybody else, you've had to do a lot of Unconditioning is the word I'm getting. I don't know if that's the right word I want to use, though. But that's what they're saying, unconditioning. Yeah, I feel that whoever I'm reading for, you've been placed in kind of a little box. By society, by, you know, family, by exes, by whatever, you know. I'm feeling like whoever I'm reading for by everybody <laughs> up until this point by everybody. And that may be that lack of support that I was picking up on. And it's because you're highly sensitive. You're highly psychic. You're highly intuitive. You, 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 <laughs> wow. They're saying you use a part of your brain that other people don't even know exists. That's why you think differently. <laughs> That's why you think differently, right? And I'm getting, you don't have to defend yourself anymore. They're telling me here, wow, this is interesting. Okay, um, I'm picking up on the ancestor energy pretty heavily, but I am also picking up on the descendant energy. And I think I might do a video on this, um, but the... The descendants are highly like technical is the word I want to say. They're light beings with no body, 
The ancestors gather around me, but the descendants have a long line where it's like an order. There's an order and it's very like almost militant the way they present. And it feels very technical. It feels very tech. Like, I don't, I don't know how else to describe it. Um, other than I feel like a lot of people who make advancements in technology work with the descendants. That's the best way I can describe it. Anyway, I feel like you have both of these energies that work through you. And your brain, your mind, you don't, you don't think the same. Okay. And that's a good thing. <laughs> that's a good thing. That's what they're saying. That's a good thing. It's unconventional, but they're saying it won't be unconventional for long. Ooh. Yeah. Some kind of awakening going on. And with this Ace of Swords, this is the becoming. This is, this is the shift in perspective. There's no longer this discomfort around you being outside of the box. I feel like this shift in consciousness for you, Pisces, is finally being proud to not be like other people. Instead of trying to fit in to box yourself in, it's about standing proud. No need to defend myself. Look at this. Last card. The star. You're a star, baby. You're a star. This is about hope, renewal, wishes granted, being seen. Okay, being seen for who you are, who you really are. And being adored. Like the stars in the night sky. Being adored. You're about to see this. <laughs> You're about to see this. And you have the support. You have the support of the ancestors. You have the support of the descendants. Who else? The angelic realm, the animal kingdom, Gaia, and of course, God. What else for Pisces? Pisces, I feel like a lot of your downloads and uploads are going to come through in the dream state going forward. Ooh, okay. Interesting. I'm going to take this one too. Okay. Yeah. All right. So <clears throat> get ready. Get ready, Pisces. Okay. Hmm. Rest and rejuvenation is in the reverse here. This message is coming through loud and clear. You need to rest now, okay? Because next to that, we have action. Your life is about to pick up big time, big time. So you need to rest now. <laughs> I don't know what you're working on, um, if you're an artist, uh, if you have a project, if you're a creative, um, if, you know, things have been at a lull in your career, um, I'm getting for someone, if you're trying to start a family, everything is about to pick up. Okay. Look at the way this horse is running. Like, I'm not kidding you. Okay, I'm not kidding you. And I'm actually being reminded of the high priestess here in the traditional rider weight. She has those black and white pillars. We have this black and white horse or these black and white horses running. <clears throat> Rest and rejuvenate now. This is going to be extremely important. Extremely important because your life is about to pick up like you wouldn't believe. With this community card, everything that you've lost in your sense of community, right? The the people around you that were your people, 
um, that would have pushed you into that box and made you feel othered unless you subscribed to, you know, these norms and you have to think this way, you have to do things this way, you can't be sensitive, um, all of that. You're about to call in your soul tribe. You're about to be surrounded by people. I'm picking up on a lot of invites. Yeah, a lot of invites, a lot of movement socially, materially, spiritually. I'm picking up on astral projection, um, if that resonates with you. The garden and the gate, this is just a matter of stepping through. Okay, this gate is about to open for you and you're about to step into a whole new reality as this mental state shifts. It's like a key that unlocks. Now strategy, oh my God, look at this. Blossoming abundance. There's a lot coming in for you, a lot. Okay, be prepared for that. You think you're prepared? Make sure you're prepared for that because you're gonna need to be strategic here. All right, I'm seeing somebody sitting at a desk and somebody walking up with a stack of papers this big and just dropping it on your desk. A lot of work is ahead, but it's good, okay? This is like, you know, I don't know, maybe you you make art and you have an Etsy or some sort of online account and all of a sudden like a hundred orders come in at the same time. If you're a content creator, this is like going viral and then having to like scramble to take advantage of what it is that's coming through for you. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I do see envy here, right? Whoever these previous community members are, you may have to deal with some evil eye energy here, which is no big deal. It is what it is, okay? We, we can't escape that, right? Don't fall into that people-pleasing trap of trying to make yourself small to avoid envious people. People, what what's the saying? Like, a player's going to play, hater's going to hate. Envious people are going to envy. Evil eyes are going to evil eye. That's what they do. Just make sure that you have your protection up, doing your protection rituals, doing your cleansing rituals, and just staying on top of it, okay? A uh, happy family. This is Ten of Cups energy, okay? You're about to get everything that you want in all realms I'm getting, right? In the mental realm, in the spiritual realm, in the physical realm, in the emotional realm. You're about to storm warning, but it's like... <laughs> the best kind of storm okay i feel like you are the storm pisces <laughs> you are the storm okay this is like a warning to be prepared because whatever this abundance is it's gonna come in like a storm like it, i'm getting caught up on my words but spirit is really pushing me to Make sure that you leave this reading understanding the magnitude of what is about to come in for you. Okay, this isn't like, oh, yay, um, I got an order. <laughs> or, oh, yay, this has been a really good month for me. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, this is like whole life shift in. Like, it's coming for your life in the best way possible, in the best way imaginable. And you shouldn't be surprised because you've been doing the work. You've been doing the shadow work. You've been doing the light work. Don't be surprised when God blesses you in, <laughs> they're saying in a catastrophic way. This is funny. This is funny, but like, okay, whatever. Uh, let's, let's just move on. The temple path, right? That's what I'm talking about here. Like you did the spiritual work. So don't be surprised when this comes in. Take your time, rest and rejuvenate and make sure you're ready. Make sure you're ready to receive. I feel like a lot of you, like if you're into like content creation, this could be like a viral moment with the world here. Uh, it could be an opportunity to travel or relocate somewhere else for some of you. Right, this could be like a property coming through somehow, some way, and it's just like, it comes through like a storm, like I gotta pick my whole life up. 
and go somewhere else. Okay, and victory. Victory. Behind victory, we have anxiety. Okay, this is like a blessing so big that it's almost like crazy. I don't think I've ever had anything. Okay, yes, I have. The best thing that I can compare this energy to was when um, I met my husband. And, um, you know, I, I was expecting just a... Um, a relationship that you know I like this person so let's see where it goes let's take our time and no that was not what spirit had planned at all I got um, a notice from my landlord that they were selling the building and I had 30 days to get out of my apartment and I needed to go somewhere my my family lived two hours away from my job that I was working at and I had no choice but to move in and from that point like everything moved and my whole life changed literally in the blink of an eye a spirit is giving me that moment to try and get you to understand but they're even telling me like it's bigger than that so i don't know what this is pisces but uh congratulations your whole life is about to change and i'm really happy for you all right so um if this resonated, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, leave a comment down below. What else? Um, thank you to the ancestors, the descendants, um, the animal realms, the angelic realms. Thank you, God. Thank you, spirit guides. And thank you, Pisces, for allowing me to tap into your energy. And until we meet again, namaste.